limiting factor is going to be going overhead. We also want a bench, a chair, couch, ottoman, something that is elevated. We won't be standing on it, but we will be putting body weight onto it. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. I'm going to turn to the side, bringing our legs about hip bone width distance apart. Starting off with a hip hinge, we go deep hip hinge, so taking our hips back. Softening our knees so that we can really get our hips back and feel that stretch to the glutes and hamstrings. And then standing back up, let's go again. Taking our hips back, getting that stretch. Standing right back up. Couple more, hips back and up. Let's go two more, taking it back. One last one. Bringing it down into an all fours position. All fours, knees go underneath our hips, wrists underneath our shoulders. From here, straight elbows, hug shoulder blades in the direction of one another, and then push away from the floor. Feel that opening up of the shoulder blades. Again, let's go hug, and then we'll press away. And hug, and press away. Let's go two more, same thing. Pushing away. Final one. Take our right foot to the outside of our right hand. From here, let's open out and then bring it right back in. We'll open out and back in. So this is going to be one of three. One of three strength workouts. And here's the thing. If you did these three strength workouts and only these three strength workouts, what I can tell you, switch, go to the other side, is that it would be a comprehensive program. Let's open out and then back in, meaning you'd be training everything equally. So I'm going to be labeling these like kind of that one of three, two of three, so that you know, and you could take these three, you can rinse, repeat, keep doing them, and know that, okay, I have a full program here. I'm working everything evenly. Let's go one more, come all the way back in. So we'll start off, here's our elevated object. We'll bring our upper back onto it. We're going to come to hip thrusts. Starting first round is going to be kind of one way, and then we'll build each round if you want. So we'll bring our upper back up onto our elevated object. Hands can either come to the side or behind the head. I like behind the head. Once we're here, we lift up and hold, abs engage. Think as if you're ahead to your tailbone as a one straight line like a board. Drop our hips down, let our head lift. Lift our hips, head goes back. Let's go down, back up. We're going to do 15 of these. You want to make sure as your butt goes down, your head lifts so that I'm not getting an arch of my back as I go. Let's go down, rise through the heels, press it up. Down, push through the foot and back up. Stay with this. We go to 15. So we're going kind of higher reps on these. Let's go five more, and four, drag to the top, two, last one, bring it down onto the floor, all fours position, grab one of our weighted objects, we've done this exercise before, bring your wrist right underneath your shoulder. If you have wrist issues, you can take, if you have dumbbells, two dumbbells so that one hand isn't onto the floor. It's more you're kind of grabbing onto something. Right hand with that weighted object, left leg is going to go back. So my left leg goes back, right hand on the weighted object. Let's pull it up to the side, back down. We're going to go 10. Elbow reaches back towards the foot. Abs engage. Let's go lift and lift. Let's stay with this. Feel that engagement in between our hip bones. Right back up. We've got two more, stay with it. Pull it up, final one, switch, go to the other side. Right hand goes down, left hand grabs our weighted object, right leg, so left hand rowing, right leg back. Let's go, pull it up, back down. Today, we have two sections for you. First section is gonna have three exercises done three times through. Second section has four exercises done three times through. If you'd like, you can change this up. You can go four rounds, you can go two, whatever works for you. Let's go here, pull it up, elbow goes back, lift up. Three more, let's go for three. 
two, last one. Set the weighted object back, come down onto our side. Elbow goes right underneath our shoulders, bend the knees, feet go in line with our butt. Elbow drops underneath our shoulder, lift our hips up, take it back down. Modified side plank. I like a hand behind my head. I like to push my head back into the hand. That way I know I have this really long spine here. Let's go, lift it up, back down. So like I said, this round, first round, is done one way. You can keep these kind of variations of the exercise the whole time. We're gonna go three rounds. Each round is gonna get progressively, I don't like the word harder, but progressively harder. Let's go one more. Switch, go to the other side. Reason being is that an exercise to me the variation, the option that you want to choose is the one that you can stay within your body and it's the hardest for you, which isn't always the hardest option. Let's go elbow down. Sometimes that hardest option, hand behind the head, let's lift and drive. We end up just using momentum so that we can kind of get through it or we feel like we're not anymore inside of our body and I want us to feel like we're in our body. We can feel our muscles working. So whatever option, presents to you the amount of intensity you want where you can still feel that exercise. That's the one we stay with. Let's go up. Take it back down. Two more. Lift. Last one. And lower. Bring our upper back back up against the bench. Last time we did double leg. This time coming to a B stance. B stance. Hands come behind the head. If you want to stay double leg, great. Awesome, do it, you'll do 20 reps. Otherwise, we're gonna go B stance. What that means is my right leg is down, my left heel is out. I'm going to minimally use my left leg, it's mostly my right. Drop the hips down, back up. Remember, head goes with you, and back up. I have this straight board from my head to my butt. Lower, drive it up. And up, let's go five more. Four. In three, we'll switch, we go other leg. Switch it up, other leg, your double leg, keep going. Bend your left leg, right heel lightly taps. Let's go, lift and lower. My right heel is there for a little bit of help, a little bit of support, but I'm seeing how much can I push through that left leg. Stay with this. Two more. Final one. Release it down. Before we did an all fours on the floor, if your elevated surface allows, you can come to an all fours up on it. This is going to give you a little extra range. So the way it goes for this is the same thing. Right hand will row, left leg will reach back long. I'm going to take my right hand to the side. I get a little extra range now. Big pull up. My left leg is back. Let's go lift. Reach right elbow back long. Stay with this. We've got 10. In four, we switch to the other side. Final one. Switch. Let's go. Other side. Same thing. Left hand. Right leg. Opposites. We go pull it up. Full straightening of the arm, opening of the shoulder blade. If your surface doesn't allow for you to come up onto it, just stay in that all fours position. Three more. Last one. And lower it all the way down, side plank. Last time we were down on our knees, this time we're gonna bring it up to our feet. You do not have to if you don't want. Elbow drops down, stagger your legs, lift our hips up, and then lower. So in that staggered cross stance, my top leg is in front, my bottom leg is behind. We lift and lower. Again, I'm choosing to put my hand here. You do not have to. Some people like a little support on the ground. Others like it on their hip. What works for you? Let's go four more. And lift. 
one more, switch, go to the other side. So you're getting a lot of oblique here. You actually get outer thigh, and then we get shoulder for sure. Elbow goes down, stagger, right leg in front, left leg goes behind, take our hand, bring it behind the head. Again, I like to push my head into my hand. You do not have to do this. And we go up and then back down. Lift and lower. This is round two. Round two already. Stay with it. Four more. Two. Final one. And lower it all the way down. Okay. So now we're going to come back to that hip thrust. You have double leg. You can keep going. You can stay with that V stance or we'll take it to a single leg hip thrust. 20 total. However, we're doing it. If it's double leg, 20. Single leg, we'll go 10, 10. You can build these up. You can build these up to be like 15, 20 reps on each side if you're going single. Lift one leg up and then let's dip down and up. Lower and lift. Push the head into the hand. Make sure your hips and your head are moving at the same time. It does not matter where this other lifted leg is. Two more. I'll tell you why I have it the way I do. Switch, go to the other side. Is that straight? Just put a little extra stress on the body. Hold in helps reinforce keeping our back in that nice kind of straight neutral position. Let's go down, take it up. Down and up. For three. Final one. And release it down. So I'm gonna do my single arm, single leg row down here just so you can see better. Do it on your elevated surface if you'd like. You do not have to, whatever works best for you. Right hand, left leg, opposite. So left leg back, right hand rows. Let's go, pull it up, bring it down. Pull it up, back down. So what I tried to do for today, yes, there's only one weighted object out. If I was doing this workout on my own, I might trade those dumbbells in. I might go up as I keep going. But what I wanted to do today is lift the realistic weight. So a lot of times when you watch videos, switch, go to the other side, the instructor is lifting something they lighter than what they normally do. Reason being is so they can kind of talk through it, let's row, so that they can move a little bit more like with ease, but it's not super realistic. So I wanted to lift, today I've got 20, with something closer to what I would lift with, so that you can see more of a realistic pace when you go through something like this. Let's go two more. Final one. Okay, so your options for this side plank. We did bending our knees. We did straight leg with our elbow. Final option is straight leg, straight arm. Bigger range of motion. We've got 10. Choose for you what works. Let's go. Drop it down. Back up. Lower. Lift. Breathe through it. Breathe through the hard part. So typically on that way up, take an exhale. Three more. Two. Final one, switch, other side. Same thing, stagger our legs. This is our final exercise, the first round of things, our first set of things. Let's go, 10, drop it down, bring it up. I like again, head pushing into the hand, Staying with a long spine. Two more. Final one. And release it down. Okay. 
second set of exercises, we have four exercises. We will not be using this elevated surface. We will use your weighted objects. So from here, we'll start off with a single leg deadlift. So here's the thing, single leg deadlift's gonna have two, more than just two kind of benefits, but one can be balance, one can be strength. Um, I'm not a fan of necessarily always working both at the same time. If you know that you need to work balance, don't hold on to something. If you're really working that glute leg strength, feel free to lightly hold on to something if you'd like. So I'm gonna start off first round, no weight, just, just kind of go through that exercise. We're gonna reach our elevated object, or elevated leg, sorry, back, and then we'll come back up. So this is less about this teeter-totter going down and lifting, and more about can I reach, reach, reach my leg back, come back up. I go reach, 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 notice that that leg that is on the floor has a bend to it. So we go reach, bring it back up, stay with that, reach, back up. Take it back, lengthen, bring it back up, reach, and up. One more for this first round. Switch, let's go other side. Just because one side balance well doesn't mean the other will. And vice versa, let's go reach. Take it back up. Lengthen, 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 back up. It's all about this hip of your supporting leg. How much can I get that hip back? Like I'm reaching it to the wall behind me. Four more, same thing. Slow and control for three, two more, let's go, last one, come back up, grab both of your weighted objects, we have an overhead press, bring them up to your shoulders, palms face in, soft knee, press straight up, we get to the place where our arms are right next to our ears, right back down, let's go again, press up, soft knees, and then right back down, when we press up, can you keep knees soft, abs engaged, this way we will minimize this arching of our low back that likes to happen when we press up, halfway, four more, press it up, right back down, let's go three, so if you can see my speed, you know that for me, these weights, they're a good kind of, they're a good weight. Last one, I'm not going super quick. I'm struggling that last rep or two. And that's when we're coming to strength building we want. We want to make sure that we hit that struggle. Let's lay down onto our back. Lay all the way onto our back. Send your legs out. We're going to bring them out so that we're not so far out that I can't lift my heels, but no, it's not so close in that they look really, really high. So find that kind of middle place. Lift your heels up as high as you can with your toes long. Lift our butt up one inch, stay there. If this feels like crampy on your calves, stay there. If not, if you want to move on, let's lift a leg. Lift a leg and hold and drive your base heel up as high, 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 high as you possibly can. So drive, 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 drive it up. Keep holding. We're gonna hold it here for 10 more seconds. This exercise, we're gonna go through only two of the three rounds, only two of the three. Hold it here, stay here, and switch. Go to the other leg. Set it down with your heel up, lift your leg, and hold, hold it. Stay here, keep driving your base leg heel up as high as you can. If you cramp, I know it doesn't feel good, but it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It means we're bringing our body to a place maybe it hasn't been before from a strength component. Hold here. Hold, hold, hold. Stay for five. Hold it for four. Almost there for three, two, one. Lower it all the way down. Roll onto our stomach. Legs will stay on the ground. Hands, they go one on top of the other. Forehead stacked, lift head, chest, hands up off the floor, and then lower. Let's go again. Let's lift and back down. See how heavy you can make your head into your hands. And can we find an abdominal engagement as we lift and lower? Let's go up, back down, lift, and lower. 
Give me four more here. Four. Back down. In three, we'll finish off our first round of this. Two. Last one. And lower it all the way back down. Let's stand up. Let's come back to that top. Single leg deadlift. It's up to you. You can stay without weights. You can add one leg weight or two. I'm going to add one for this round. The way that I'm going to have you weight it, if you're just adding one, the leg that's on the ground, you're going to put your dumbbell or your weighted object in the opposite hand. So left foot on the ground, weight in my right hand. If you get this wrong, do not worry. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Just a different emphasis. So let's go. Single leg deadlift. Take our leg back. Reach. Back up. And again, take it back. Back up. Reach, reach, reach your foot back as far as you can. Take it up. Let's go again. Back and up. We're going to 10 this time. Reach and up. That's it. Four more. Three. You've got it. Final two. And then last one, switch, other side. Right foot on the ground, left hand, weighted object. Let's go, take it back, bring it up. Take it back, and up. Stay with that, reach the leg back. Again, I do not care how low your chest goes to the floor. It's not about that. Instead, it's about how much can I take my hip back behind me so I really get that glute focus here. And up. Let's go four more. In three. Final two. Go back, back, back. Last one. Grab your weighted objects. Overhead press. Overhead press. Soft knees. Hands, palms face it, press it up, back down. If you get to the point where you go, oh my goodness, these weights are a little too heavy for me, add a little leg help. Use your legs to help you. Press it up. We go eight, halfway. Let's go for four more. Three. Almost there. I'm saying it to myself because I need that, that extra reinforcement, that countdown. Final one, and then lay onto your back. We have our calf bridge, calf bridge. This is our final time through the calf bridge. Everything else will go one more time. Final time through calf bridge. So again, find that area. I can lift my heels, but it's not like, whew, I lift them so high up. Hands to the side, abs engaged. Lift our butt up just one inch, and then drive one leg up and hold it here. Keep lifting your heel as high as you can, driving your heel up while we're trying to minimize your toe scrunching. Hold it. Can you roll your pelvis under just a little bit and then keep driving your heel up? Stay with this. You are halfway there. Halfway. Keep breathing through. In eight, you are done with this side. We never do it again, at least not today. In three, two, one, switch. Go to the other side. Other side. Same thing, drive, 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 drive. So what I can tell you is for most of us, our calves are underworked. Our calves are underworked. And think of them, they're a big shock absorber. They're a big power for their lower limb. So if you're someone with knee issues, if you're someone with hip issues, working our calves are going to be so helpful. Let's go four in three, two, one, lower it all the way down. Roll onto our stomach, we're adding on. Hands stack, abs engage. Let our head get heavy and lift your head, chest, and hands up. Stay here, reach your arms forward. You stay at that same height, pull your elbows back. Reach back forward. We go pull it back and front. What likes to happen here is when we pull our elbows back, we get higher. And that's okay, as long as you can keep that newfound height when your arms then straighten. 
Five more for five. Final three, ab engagement. Two, last one, and we'll release. We have one final round left. One final round, and then you are done. You are done, you're out the door for today. We have that single leg deadlift, so it's up to you. No weight, one weight, two weight. I'm gonna go to the two weights for right now. Let's start off left leg, left foot on the floor. Right leg is gonna be what's lifted. Let's go, reach it back, take it back, bring it all the way back up. Reach, take it back, back up. So what you might find when it comes to exercises that require balance is that if you have no weight, you might struggle to balance. And then you add a little weight and all of a sudden that balance gets a little more solid. And then you add more weight and you struggle again. And that is common, that's completely common. For a lot of us, we're able to find that stability, we're able to find that balance when we have a little bit of weight. Little is relative, two more. Final one, switch, go to the other side. So just know that's normal. If you add a weight and you go, oh my gosh, now I'm unable to balance again. And let's go other side, reach it back, bring it up. Take it back, and back up. Let's stay with this, and back. Up, hip goes back long. Again, we don't care how low the chest goes. We're thinking about how much can my hip reach back behind me. My balance gets a little off, we go three more. I'm hungry. Here it is. Two. Last one. Oh, I already know these weights now. They go overhead, soften the knees, grab your weighted object, press them up, bring them back down. Let's go up, back down. We only have eight. We just have eight. Finishing it off. You know that with your weighted object that great like weight for you if you start to struggle here each one towards the end is like am I gonna be able to get those weighted objects up two more use the leg if you need final one and then set them down let's lay onto our stomach we have our final Superman exercise we're gonna add on it's the last exercise of the day Bring it all the way down. Stack our hands, palm over palm. Abdominals engage. Lift your head, chest, hands up. Reach your arms front. Big pull back of the elbows. Flip your hands and reach your fingertips to your toes. Come back to that bend elbow position. Reach back forward. So we go pull it back. Reach. Bent elbows forward. Pull it back. Reach. Bent elbows forward. Let's stay with this. Four more, four, three, two, final one, final one. Lower it down, press it back, child's pose, give a stretch. So again, this is going to be one of three, one of three. If you know anyone who is wanting to get stronger, wanting to feel better, please pass these on because, again, this is going to be a comprehensive. All three put together, you could do every week and you know, okay, I'm, I know that I'm training evenly. I'm getting all the muscle, all that. Thank you so much. We're beyond grateful that you're here. Like, subscribe, pass it on, and we'll see you next time.